good morning guys and happy thursday yeah it's thursday um sorry i have not really vlogged well i haven't vlogged all week i tried but i just been so busy like nesting like literally my house is freaking spotless like well you can't really tell but my house is spotless other than the towels on my bed over there that I'm about to fold and well need to fold and put up but yeah I've been nesting real hard so my house is spotless minus one area which is my closet which I'm going to work on today when I get back to the house but right now um, I'm about to run some errands right quick I need to go by the dollar store and get some tape because I am I am sending back some of my old phones that I don't use that have been just collecting dust. Send those back to Verizon. I have Verizon for like bill credits and stuff because they have like a device trade-in program. So, and a little bit helps. So I'm sending two of my old phones back because that I don't ever plan on using. So I need to buy some tape so I can take those boxes down and ship those out and then i need to go to oh, i'm so out of breath i need to go to the tag office because i need to renew our tags so i gotta go do that what else i think that's it for right now and then i'm gonna come back and start cleaning out our closet and then um, I have my prenatal appointment this afternoon at three. So yeah, like this week I have just been super busy. Like I've literally been cleaning all day long. So my house is spotless. I still have a little bit of laundry to do. And um, I need to pack our hospital bags. Her her bag is packed. I just haven't fully packed mine and Jay's bag. So I need to like make sure that's done today. <laughs> Cause I don't need to put it off anymore. Cause for the past couple of days, I don't know if it means that labor is near or coming soon, probably, but I've been, I don't know how to describe it. I've been feeling how I feel how I usually feel when my period's about to come on, like really achy and crampy and just, I don't know, like sort of like weak feeling. I don't know. Cause that's how I, that's how I get before my period comes on. So that's exactly how I'm feeling now. So I'm not sure if that's like an early sign of like labor's coming near. I don't know. I hope it is. Cause I'm ready for her to get here. So yeah. So now I'm about to, um, leave out the house and go run these errands right quick and come back home so i can get this closet cleaned out so yeah okay guys i am back home from running my errands um got those phones shipped off and got our tags for our car i went by um publix and got like a little fruit um bowl or whatever because that's what I wanted I've been craving fruit so got me some fruit and uh, come back home I'm so tired like I'm exhausted now like I planned on like cleaning out our closet or whatever but my body is just like no you need to rest I'm like exhausted so I don't know if I'll get a chance to do that today um, I'm just sitting at my computer desk now. Um, eat my fruit. And then I have my appointment later on this evening at three. So yeah. Mm, so good. But yeah. I'm just feeling really achy. My back hurts. And then Cadence, she's just super active. Like she's been tumbling and rolling around all morning. So if you know how uncomfortable that can be. 
whew, in the third trimester. So, especially just close to the end because I, I can feel every single movement, like every single movement. I can feel everything. <laughs> and it gets quite uncomfortable sometimes. And I didn't really sleep well last night because she was just so active. Like she, she wakes, especially at night. She likes when I'm good, comfortable in the bed and you know, into a good sleep. And she's like, all right, let's practice some somersaults. And she's just <laughs> giving me a hard time. So yeah, um, hopefully um, at my appointment, since I see my regular provider, I'm gonna ask her about checking me or um, ask her could she check me to see if I've dilated any because like I said like for the past few days um, I've been um, feeling how I usually feel before my period starts like really crampy and achy and just uncomfortable or whatever so hopefully I've dilated some or whatever I haven't had like contractions it's just cramps. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but hopefully something is going on down there. So, yeah, I'm just going to sit here and eat my fruit and just relax for a second because, like, my body is just tired. Like, I think I've done enough this week because, like, I've been super active all week, deep cleaning my house. The only thing left is, like I said, is my closet and then finish up. The laundry so I'll probably just finish up the laundry and then see if I can get Jada do the closet it ain't gonna happen but you know I can always dream but yeah so I'm gonna eat my fruit and just relax probably until my appointment or whatever so I'll come back to you guys later okay guys um, I've just been laying here feeling really really achy like I feel like my period's about to come on. Um, I just went to the bathroom and I've been wearing panty liners or whatever and I noticed like I know it's TMI but this is this is what women go through but I noticed like my discharge had like a pink tint to it and like there was like this little bitty little ball of mucus or whatever and it was definitely tinged pink so there's blood in it so I don't know if my mucus plug is coming out or whatever or what's going on luckily I have an appointment today so I can bring that all up to my midwife um, I took a picture of it to show so I can show her when I get into the office because I wasn't gonna leave that penny liner on I was gonna change it out because that's gross but I think I may be dilating <laughs> for real. So hopefully this is an early sign of labor that labor's coming soon because I just feel really achy and crampy right now. And this is my sister's FaceTiming me. So um, I'll be back one second. All right guys, I am about to leave the house. Um. On my way to my doctor's appointment so hopefully they can tell me something if i've started to dilate or anything because to be honest with you <laughs> i haven't packed my hospital bag yet so now since like this this is happening i don't know exactly if it's happening but you know since there are some changes happening um when i get back from my appointment i'm definitely gonna get that bag packed <laughs> Cause I have her bag packed. I just need me and Jay's stuff packed. So when I get back home from my appointment, I'm, that's exactly what I'm gonna go do is pack our bags or whatever. So hopefully they can tell me what's going on. Um, If I am in early labor or if I've at least started dilating some, I know it's kind of dark cause I have these sunshades to help block out uh, to keep my car cool but yeah I don't know how to fold these things up so I'm just throwing them on the floor 
So yeah, hopefully they can tell me something. Put you right here right quick. So hopefully this is the start of something. I was hoping she would at least wait till the first. Um, if she is trying to come now. But at this point, <laughs> I don't mind, I don't care. So yeah. So let me get my life situated. I can never fold this thing up right. I'm just gonna throw it in the back seat. I'm not gonna fold this right now. So yeah. So I'll come back to you guys after my appointment and I'll let you know what they say and how it goes. So fingers crossed. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm done with my appointment. Actually I've been done. I'm actually sitting in my driveway now, but um so everything went well um for the most part except for when she had to check me lord jesus i was not prepared for that kind of discomfort in my life <laughs> but yeah <clears throat> i described to her the the discharge and the mucus or whatever so she said that was my mucus plug she said since it was so small it may be like a piece of it but she said it was my, mu my mucus plug <laughs> Um, she checked me. I am one centimeter dilated and 50% effaced. So, still early. Um, she is head down. She checked her position. So, she was trying to feel the position, but it was uncomfortable. Because, like, by the time I got back there, my bladder was full. So, I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> So she couldn't really feel her position, so she just took out the ultrasound machine right quick and to visually look and baby girl is head down, which is good. Um, the only thing is they're still concerned that about my fundal height because I'm still measuring at 34 weeks, being that tomorrow I, I'll be 38 weeks. She said since I, because this is my regular provider, she said since I am, you know, a small person, um she said she w she's not too concerned about it but um she sent in a referral for me to um for an ultrasound um i think she said a, a growth check or something just to make sure cadence is you know growing and developing properly since i am technically now measuring four weeks behind um, she said she's not too concerned about it, but just for, you know, just for a sound peace of mind, she sent in an order for ultrasound. So I'm supposed to call the ultrasound department tomorrow and see if they can get me in as early as possible um, next week, seeing that my due date is in two weeks. <laughs> So, because she says they're usually, the ultrasound department is usually backed up two weeks, but I don't have two weeks to, you know, wait. So, she's going to, she said she was going to personally call down there and see if they can get me in as early as possible. Um, <clears throat> just because she wanted that sound peace of mind for her and for me, which I was perfectly okay with. Um, I understand. So, I liked her a whole lot better than my, my last one the last lady i saw so my next appointment is on july 5th which is next wednesday if i make it that far because i don't know after she checked me lord jesus them contractions have been like ooh. so they it's a little rough but you know i'm getting there i'm only one centimeter but you know anything can change so yeah so everything went well on this appointment so I can't wait guys ah. so I just um got some subway for dinner because my energy level right now is in the pits <laughs> and I wasn't gonna be standing up cooking especially the way I'm feeling so I grabbed some subway for dinner for me and Jay so I'm about to go in the house and we're about to eat and then this will probably be the end of the vlog or whatever 
because after we finish eating, I'm just going to relax and chill and probably binge watch Orange is the New Black. So, yeah. So, I will come back to you guys tomorrow because tomorrow morning I have my nutrition appointment. So, we'll see how that goes. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Deuces!